let us write an algorithm to increment a number by 1 so i want uh, to write an algorithm or uh, logic to increment a given a number a given a number by 1 so what does it mean <coughs> if uh, you are given a number like 10 that 10 must become 11 that means you are incrementing that number by uh, 1 so what is the logic or algorithm uh, for this so this is what we want to see now generally uh, while writing computer scientists have given have given some words these words we can use in uh, writing the algorithm in any algorithm the first word that you have to use is a uh, start or you can also say start or begin <coughs> what is the start or begin start means you are asking the computer to start processing or to start execution so this is the uh, first step in any algorithm generally and uh, at the end as a last step you have to ask when your algorithm is completed you have to ask the computer to stop so stop must be the last word or you can also use in the place of stop you can use end so stop start to stop or begin to end you can use now the first step in our algorithm is a start the second step is take the number that means whatever the number you want to increment by one so take the number now how to take the number the number whatever the number or whatever the name you are taking that is called data in general data this data should be stored first in computer memory so in computers you cannot take the data in the air and do something you have to first store the data into computer memory so computer memory is a place where you can store data results etc so what i am doing is i am taking a variable x and in the variable x i am storing 10 please observe here i am using some new word that is variable what is this variable variable is a name you are giving to computer memory variable is a name you are giving to computer memory this is also known as a identifier so identifier is nothing but a, a variable name and is equal to you are writing single is equal to in computers represent that you are storing or assigning data which data you are storing into x you are storing the right side value that is 10 you are storing into uh, this left side variable x always in computers right side data or right side value is stored into left side variable so when i am writing x is equal to 10 please remember single is equal to in computers represent a assignment or a storage so i can say hey, is equal to the single is equal to is called assignment operator or it is also known as a storage you are storing right side value into left side variable when i write x is equal to 10 what happens in the computer's memory there would be a memory block created and the memory block name is taken as x 
and in that memory block the value 10 is stored so if you want to, to access or retrieve that value 10 you can use this name x if you print x value you will see that value that is 10 so this is how you have to understand this and what I am doing in the next step, in the next step, that means in the third step, <coughs> I want you to increment the value. That means this x value is 10 already. This x value must become 11. So for that, we are writing this logic. How can I make 10 as 11? Simply, I can add 1 to x. So, x plus 1. x plus 1 means what? 10 plus 1. x plus 1 means 10 plus 1. 10 plus 1 is 11. So, you are thinking 10 plus 1 will become 11. Yes, that is okay. True. Then, in the next step, that is the fourth step, you may feel that x value is now incremented by 1. When I am writing x plus 1, uh, you are getting 11. But uh, you come into the next step. In the fourth step, suppose you are printing x. Print x means what? You are displaying x value. Please remember, if you display x value here, x value will not be 11. x value will be 10 only here. Why x value is 10 here? I have added 1 to x. Na? Yes. But uh, what you did, x plus 1 means you are, x value is 10 plus 1, that is 11. But that 11 you did not store in the memory of the computer. You are, again you are saying print x means the old value of x, that is 10 will be displayed. And in the next step, I am taking the next step, fifth step is stop, that means I am ending this algorithm. So this is an algorithm uh, to this is an algorithm we have written to increment uh, a given number by one, but this algorithm is not correct. Most of the non-computer science students will write like this, this type of algorithm they will develop. So let me show you that uh, this will not work. What I am doing is, I am going to convert this algorithm or this logic into a Python program. Let me open this Python guy IDLE. This is a Python guy IDLE. And uh, here file, new file. I am opening a new file where I want to type my code. So here you can type your uh, program. See, I am typing a hash. Hash means uh, it is called a comment. Comment lines uh, are useful to provide a description. Comments are useful to provide a description about the features of a program. So, here I am writing a comment. Comments are uh, not executed. That means uh, comments uh, are not a program statements so they are not executed uh, they will there there will not be any result from the comments but comments uh, are useful to understand what the program is doing so let me put one comment in the beginning of the program what is my comment uh, algorithm algorithm to increment uh, <coughs> a given number by one this is my comment so this is the aim of my program. Next, if you go through the algorithm, step number one, start, that you need not convert, start and stop. These steps you need not convert into program statements. Why? Because uh, when, you, when your program is run, when you give run command, automatically processor will start processing. And at the end of the program, processor will stop automatically. So you need not give start and stop in programming. We can start from step 2. 
step 2 x is equal to 10 is written so that i am converting into python statement x is equal to 10 i am writing a python program of course so x is equal to 10 then in the next line i am adding 1 to x that is x plus 1 then the next line i am converting i want to print x value when you want to print x value in python you should use a print function there is a print function what is a function and all we will discuss later but remember print is a function after that you have to write left and right simple braces why because after any function name you have to write left and right simple braces and in the braces whatever you write that would be displayed on the monitor so this print function in python will display x value on the monitor so that is the duty of this function and uh, fifth step stop this stop we will not convert into python program so these are the three steps now let me run this code before running our python program file i am saving this uh, uh, program file save file save is the option <coughs> and in which directory you want to save select the directory here uh, i am selecting uh, uh, a directory that is i am selecting first a drive that is e and in e any directory you can take or directory directly you can store in e also okay this is e and here i am saying uh, my program name file name is x so file name is x save as a type of python files so that that means this is saved as python file and save in e drive i am saving uh, my program so x.py already exists do you want to replace probably some other program is there with this name I want to replace that so I write yes now let me run this program so run run module this is a command run module so when I click here it will open a new page and runs and it will display the result please observe the result is a 10 we have taken already x value 10 and it is displaying x value 10 that means what x value is not incremented not incremented see if x value is 10 if it is incremented by 1 then we should get x value 11 but it is giving me 10 only why why means where is the flaw where is the error or where is the mistake we have committed please observe in our algorithm here we have written simply x plus 1 that means we have uh, increased x value by 1 but we are not to storing that result that is the reason when you go into the next step you are losing that result so in the next step you are losing that result in the next step that is the problem here you are losing so here what we have to do here i have to here i have to what i have to do is x plus 1 after adding 1 to x i have to store that result again into x why I am storing that result again into x? Because you want to increment x. In x variable, already 10 is there. You want to make it 11. So you want to increment x value. So x plus 1, this result you have to store again into x. Now print x, it will display 11. Uh, here in this line, you will see 11 here. No problem. So let me implement this line this modified statement I will write in my program so here x is equal to 10 that means initially I have taken 10 into x now I write x is equal to x plus 1 that means you add 1 to x store that again in x so then what happens old value of x 10 is replaced by 11 now now in x you got 11 print x means it will display 11 so let me save it once again because you have modified the program you save it then run, run module so it is showing me 11 that means x value is uh, incremented by 1 properly so this is the correct algorithm to increment a given number by 1